Alright, we're going to be going over animated weapons for games, particularly first person perspective games. And as you can see, I've got a picture of Morrowind. We're going to be modeling an axe. Now, even though it's an axe, you can still use what I teach you to make, say, sci fi weapons, modern guns, anything along those lines. And we're going to be using two programs that's Blender and GIMP. So, here we are in Blender your little default cube. Before we even start modeling, we're going to set this up. First, we're going to... There's a little plus sign you just saw me open. Scroll down. You're going to go to display. Scroll down. And you're going to set the shading to GLSL. This is so the texture shows correctly. Otherwise, it'll render weird and it's just good to... Um, have it set to first. Uh, that's done. It's also a good idea to name your objects. Otherwise, if you're using the Blender game engine, you have a bunch of objects named Cube. It's going to get really confusing. Trust me, I know. So let's call this X. Now, another thing, even if you don't like it, you have to set it to view perspective. Or view, set the view to ortho view and view from the front that's just for now I'll show you why and that's because in this tutorial we're gonna be using background images so go back to that tab I just showed you so down select background images press add image then it'll say not set so what you need to do is press that down arrow like I just did X set to all views and there's a little picture button next to it says open press that and we're gonna open our image I'll include the image I'm using in the um, description box All right, as you can see our axe image just showed up and you have to be in ortho view to do this that's why we can't use perspective view I know it sucks but I hate ortho view too but so what you gotta do now what we're gonna be modeling first is this handle here we're not gonna get into the blades yet because we want a good base and, that, and if we start modeling the blades too if we want to edit the um, handle it's a little bit harder so we're gonna get completely done with this handle first so scale it down to where it's about the same width of your handle, scale it X. Right. <clears throat> Go into edit mode if you're already not in edit mode and select this back base back here. Go back in front view. We're gonna create this back part right here. And yeah. We'll work with that. It's like this face right here. Press front view gun. If you have a number pad, it's just number one number pad. Um what's it? Number pad one. But I'm using a laptop. So Hey, no, we don't need that. All right, we're gonna subdivide this, and as you can see, subdividing can get kind of messy. So instead, we're gonna see what happens if we manually subdivide this without smoothing. we are going to subdivide everything but these top and bottom edges <coughs> we 
when you're modeling it doesn't hurt to try different things whatever works again just press subdivide this time it doesn't smooth it for you I go into vertices select mode you know what I'm actually gonna go out of I'm gonna go back to perspective mode instead it'll be a little bit easier for this part we don't need the reference image for this yet right we're gonna scale now we've selected all these edges we're gonna scale it along the y-axis first It's not working. Whoa. What did we do? All right. Scale on the y axis. And scale on the z axis. That looks alright. Actually, let's scale this on the z-axis up a little bit. <clears throat> Just because... Yeah, alright. Go back into... Ortho view. I've got him out of this blade part. So, I'm going to go into face select mode. Let's start with this back part here. Extrude it and scale it. And when you're scaling it, scale along the x axis so you don't want to make it too small. If you get what I mean. I think we can clean that up a little bit. And now, it, this is why you only want to scale it along the z-axis, it gets small. So I'm going to actually go back and redo that. <clears throat> Showing you this to show you what mistakes not to make. Alright, that's good. We're going to come back and clean it up some more in a little bit, make it look more sharp. Right, so now we need to do that bottom, or the front half. Uh, Alright. <clears throat>
screwed it. Scale it along the z-axis. Now here we've got a lot of extra stuff. Here's how we're going to do this. Rather than trying to make it all fit with just what we have, we're going to focus on this top half and we're going to extrude it down here. So go into line select mode. You know it's not going to have to match up perfectly with um your thing. It's not gonna have to it's not gonna have to match up perfectly with your reference image, so if it looks a little more square, a little rounder, whatever works. It's your model. Now that does look a little square, so here's what we're going to do. Since this is an X, it's not going to be flat on the edge, it's going to be sharp, so we're simply going to grab these two, or these two in the middle up here. We're going to scale it and push it up. Same with the bottom. All right, now that doesn't look perfect with the image, but that's fine. I'll show you why we would. All right, now we're gonna go into UV mapping, but before we do that, to make it easier, we're gonna go back and edit the model one last time. <coughs> you see these top cap parts up here? Let's move this up, make it pointed. I'll show you why in a minute. All right, <clears throat> now that we've done that, we're in edit mode. We want to open the UV image editor, which I have open already, but just open that up, create a new image called UVs, or just UV actually, simplify it. Now go into object mode to make sure your model is centered <clears throat> if you haven't, if it's not already centered. Oops. But I think that's good. Back in the edit mode. This little button out here that makes everything, that'll make your model transparent so you can select multiple faces at once. You're gonna want to open that up for this since it's symmetrical. <clears throat> Now we're going to press B to do box select and we're going to just select this whole side. Make sure it got everything. It looks like it did. Now you're going to press U to open the UV map menu. There's multiple ways you can unwrap it but we're just going to use unwrap and <clears throat> as you can see it came out a little weird 